Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health. Remember that. Dobbs versus Jackson Women's Health. Uh, the Supreme Court decided to hear this case. Uh, we'll probably get a, a ruling at the end of the year here. Uh, this, I believe, could be the biggest uh, reworking, to say the least, uh, overturned, to say the, the most, uh, against Roe v. Wade uh, since Roe v. Wade back in 1973, uh, especially with the court now as it is 6-3 conservative, thanks to Donald Trump for that. Um, I want to talk about this case. This case is a big deal. Uh, first, here's a little quip, a clip of Chris Cuomo oddly, like, didn't, like, talking about the science or saying that we're against the science or don't care about the science. Here's Chris Cuomo. When does what is inside a woman become a person with rights under the law? You would think we would have impaneled experts on a special commission by now to see what the science says, right? But we don't seem to have the intellectual curiosity about this issue because it's not really about science. It has become a culture war. It's a political lever to use as a distraction from policy and solving problems, to allow people to get up in their religion and their righteousness over any sense of what science suggests. It's not about science or consensus. It's about dividing lines, legislating to the far right, white fright vote, flooding the zone with 536 bills that abridge a woman's right to control her own body in 46 states. It's just like voting rights in one way. You see? That's such a, uh, David Arsani is here from National Review. David, how are you, brother? I'm well, how are you? Go, really good, I'm glad you're here. That's such an interesting clip, an interesting argument, because he's saying, he's right that it's not, this abortion debate's not about science anymore. Because if it were, <laughs> then more people would be on the pro-life side, right? What do you make of that? Well, there's so many levels of wrongness in what he said in the sense that uh, let's start off by pretending that this isn't about policy. Um, for me, for instance, abortion is a huge policy issue. Uh, Mississippi passed a law. That was policy. Uh, the Jackson uh, abortion clinic or whatever wanted to overturn the law. That is about policy. The Supreme Court legalized abortion in the nation and imposed their, its will on um, all the states. That's policy. So this is all about policy. And you're right as well that if it was about science, um, I think that their side would be losing. The thing, of course, is that uh, the, the idea that government should get a bunch of scientists to sit around and make a decision for us about the morality of what abortion is, is something, you know, a guy who uh, maybe is ready to listen to whatever the state tells him you know, once, but me, for instance, I, there's no commission's not gonna change my mind on what I think the science is on abortion and what I think the, uh, the uh, morality is. And I'm not, you know, you talked about religion. I'm, I'm, an, I'm an atheist and uh, science and reason and morality tell me that abortion is wrong. Wow, that was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.